Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe. A shortcut is any key or combination of keys that is bounded to a unit command. A command is an action that is executed in the actor. You can access the shortcuts manager for unit man menu. Today, I want to share my Unity keyboard shortcuts I use in my daily life. These shortcuts really help me to work much faster and more efficient. I hope one of the shortcuts will help you lots as well. Also, I have uploaded my Unity shortcuts image to my GitHub. Unity shortcuts website will be linked below, so feel free and check them out. Alright, let's get started. The first shortcut is about our navigation tool. If you want to check a particular game object in 3D game, you can hold Alt button first. Hold the left mouse button and drag to find this game object. Well, it still cannot zoom in or zoom out if we did not use the scroll wheel. In Unity, we have a great shortcut to view our game object in the scene. Hold right mouse buttons and press AWSD to view your scenes looks like you are flying in these scenes. You can use this shortcut to check any game objects in these scenes. For example, if we want to view our character, we can hold the right mouse buttons and find them by pressing AWSD. The second shortcut. If you want to maximize any window, you can click here and choose to the maximize. Now try to hover your mouse on any windows and press shift space to maximize that windows your mouse is hovering. If you want to switch this window from max to its normal size, you can press shift space again. It's very handy if you want to check each window in full screen. By the way, on here, you can drag this slider to zoom in or zoom out each asset in this folder. The third shortcut, frame center selection. Select any game object in the hierarchy. If you mouse hover on the hierarchy window, press F. Nothing will happen. Try to move your mouse to the screen window, then press F again. The selected game object will be zoomed in to the scene view. Also, if you want to view this game object, you can press Shift F to directly view. This is very powerful if you cannot see your selected game object and want to find in your scene, or just zoom very fast to any game object. If you want to see our character, you can just press Shift F to find it. A quick tip for position camera in unit. It's painful to select the camera and use the transform controls the cameras around. It's actually much easier to use the scene view camera to get the actual frame that you want with the camera. In this project, I used an empty game object to control our main camera. Now we want to change the camera view which closer to our player. One way is to move our camera position and rotate the camera to the right position. Well, using shortcut will look more professional. First, we can use the scroll wheel to zoom in or zoom out to choose the one footage position. Get the exact shot that I want. Then select the camera and in the scene view, press Command or Control Shift F, align with the view. That then puts the camera exactly where you want it. So remember, get the scene view camera to where you want it. Command Shift F or Control Shift F to reposition it. In 3D game, this is one of the best and easiest ways to set our camera's position you want. You can see our previous camera transform component. Here are several transform tools. Keys on the keyboard are the same order as those tools in Unity UI. Select the game object you want to move. Drag the airline to move your object. Also, select the game object first. Press E to rotate the character around the Y axis. You can scale up or scale down the character size. Rectangular tool. This tool is very useful in 2D project. We can use these tools to change the size of the 2D sprites. 
Also, you can press Y to replace the previous keys as well. Let's create one 3D cube game object. Hold Command or Control button when you are moving the cube object in horizontal. In my project, the cube game object will snap to the grid. He will move in 3 units each time. In your game, maybe 10 units because the default value of the move x value is 10. We can go to the Edit toolbar Snap Settings and change the value. If I change the move x value to 10, we can try to hold Command or Control button to move this object again. Our object will move in 10 units. It's super handy when you are making some environments in the game. Vertex snapping is a really simple but powerful tool in Unit. It lets you take any vertex from a given mesh and with your mouse place that vertex in the same position as any vertex from any other mesh you choose. Select the mesh you want to manipulate and make sure the transform tone is active. Press and hold the V key to activate the vertex snapping mode. Move your cursors over the snap on your mesh that you want to use as a pivot point. Hold down the left button once your cursor is over the desired vertex and drag your mesh next to any other vertex on another mesh. Release your mouse button and the V key when you are happy with the result. You will notice that our cube's vertex is snapped with another vertex of house. We can try to make two cubes vertex snap it with each other. We can press Command P or Control P to quickly jump to the play mode without using your mouse. If you want to exit the play mode, press Command P or Control P again. If you want to pause the game during gameplay, you can press Command Shift P or Control Shift P to pause this game during play mode. Press Command or Control Shift P again. You can resume the game during gameplay. We can select one game object and press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy and paste one of the same game object. Actually, we can select this game object and press Command D or Ctrl D to duplicate the selected game object. In hierarchy, select the first cube and hold Shift to select the last cubes and hold command button to deselect it several cubes. It will save your time to select a bunch of game objects in the hierarchy. Also, in the hierarchy, Ctrl A can select all of the game objects in the hierarchy. So first, let's delete all of the cubes. I have used an empty game object to control all of the environment game objects as a group. It will be easy for us to check in hierarchy and manage all of the game objects with a great structure. In here, we can press Command Shift N or Control Shift N to create a new empty game object. If you want to create a new scene in this project, you can press Command N or Control N to create a new scene. Command S or Control S to save our new scenes. Now we have two scenes. If you press Command Shift S or Control Shift S, you can save our scenes to another places. Now we have selected the cube game object and Command D many times to create many game objects. We can press Command Z or Control Z to undo our any commands. Let's close several windows first. When you open a new Unity project, only several windows are laid out in this Unity interfaces. You can press the command number to call each window. For example, if we did not have the animation window, 
we can press Command 6 to call the animation window on the screen. Command 7 is the profile window. Command 8 is the audio window. Command 9 is the access door. And Command 0 is the service window. So, which one is our console window? Actually, we need to press Command Shift C or Control Shift C to call the console window. If you are making two and a half dimensional game, press 2 will be more handy for you. These shortcuts will toggle with 2D and 3D mode. Alright, this is the end of this tutorial. I hope several shortcuts will help you a lot. Shortcuts image has been attached to my GitHub. You can go to my GitHub from the link below. If you want to see more videos about Unity tutorials, Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, or game design, you can click my profile and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next time.